This is classic Italian fare at its best. Oh, and they are stuffed with the most wonderful Italian cheese and herbs. Oh, in every single delicious bite, just melts in your mouth. Oh, it, is it does. Crazy good. So good. So delicious. So I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. Bye. I was going to say melt in your mouth, good, delicious loot. <laughs> you're just good and cheesy. Yes, <laughs> I am good and cheesy. You are so good, and we are so excited because today we are making this dish that is just, it's mm. incredible. I've made a something similar called cannelloni for a long time, mm. Mm -hmm. and um, it's similar to manicotti. It's, it's a stuffed, it's usually stuffed with cheese, and um, I... But you, but you use a pasta. A little, you use a pasta. And if you go to the pasta aisle where you can, you know, you'll see manicotti. A lot of times it's a thicker pasta. It's got the ridges a lot of time. But a lot of chefs um, use crepes. And I'll probably get I'll some. I'll never a lot go back me, to crepe. I, or I'll never go back to the pasta. The well, crepes are I wonderful. love making pasta. And it's great. But I'm telling you, we tried, we've been on a crepe thing lately. And we, so I said, let's try and make this manicotti with crepes. And it was good. Yeah. I don't know. I sh maybe we shouldn't say it's classic Italian fare, but I mean, it's, it's so A delicious. lot of people use crepes. They do. They do. So, and we're going to show you. We had to share it with you because we just love it so yes, much. Yes. So let's do. make crepes. Hot dogs. How fun. They keep coming in and out of that coming dog Coming in and door. out of that door. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that a Kate Bush song? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. So we've got a cup of flour here, and I'm just going to eyeball this. I'm going to add like about a quarter teaspoon of salt and then like a pinch of black pepper, and I'm just going to awesome. incorporate this together. And then I've got the, the wet and uh, part of the crepe mixture over here, and that's four eggs. And I've got, I know it's, cr I know it's heavy cream, and no, one's milk. Three quarters cup of milk <laughs> and three quarters cup of heavy cream. Heavy cream, there's the heavy cream. <laughs> crepe making, it really taxes your brain, apparently. <laughs> and this, okay, just pour it in. And that's the milk. Okay. And I'm just gonna mix this all together. And then yeah. we're gonna add it over there. Hold on, Chris. I had to break up my yolks. I know. Make you make sure you get some good. There you yeah, go. Get your yolks mixed get up. Get those That's mixed good. up. So we're gonna do this in a couple of stages. We're gonna add half of it and just get it kind of good and incorporated. So good, y'all. That's great. You good? Yeah, okay. I'm good. You are so good. I'm good. Oops. Oh, Oop, there you go. Okay. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm Boy. like, I don't know what to do with it. There just we set go. it right there. <laughs> Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're just going to carry on. Yeah. Okay. So now what we're doing, like I said, we're going to add about half of that in here, and I'm going to just continue stirring. You make sure you get there, a nice. I've got a whisk though. I see that. That <laughs> um, you you're going to want to get it nicely, fully incorporated. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm flinging it before you carry on. Got um, it. So we, but you can add a little. Or Go ahead and add a little more. Yeah. And then Come this just in. makes sure. No, that's good. I mean, okay. It just there makes it, it makes the process of forming the batter a little easier. This is so easy. I, you know, I've made crepes before. We've made crepes over the years, but I, I just there is, there is something like oh, I can't do it and really do it justice. And it's They're really easier really than not, what you think. I know they really are. Okay, go ahead and yes. add the rest of that. All right, there you that. go. Okay. Now, crepe delicious. Crepe delicious. So now, uh, <laughs> the thing is, is that, the, and also this filling that we're going to talk about in just a little bit, it's just a very basic ricotta, and um, we've got some smoked mozzarella and oh. some other items that we'll talk about in just a moment. Crepes, I, you, rem crepes remind me of Norwegian pancakes. Well, our ver my family's version of version of Nor uh, Norwegian pancakes. Yeah, just really thin. Um, and we put a bunch of sugar and butter thin, in it. <laughs> very thin pancakes. We That's one of our more popular ones on the blog. And boy, do we hear from your Norwegians. Yes, the kinfolk. Norwegians. And I'm like, They're like, it's an American Norwegian thing. For <laughs> us, that's how we did it. I know, but that's okay. I understand <laughs> you're passionate about your, you know, the food of course, you make. Of course, your Right, your panikokker. That's, what is that Norwegian that for? Norwegian uh, pancakes. Okay, we've yeah. really digressed. Okay. So <laughs> we're making crepes. We're making crepes <laughs> the best we can. And these are going to be a little thicker than than panikakers. But anyway, okay, now this needs to sit in the fridge. You can do this 30 minutes in advance. You can do this up to 12 hours or even 24 hours in advance. If you're going to do it in advance, then just cover it and keep it in the fridge. Um, but we need a minimum of 30, and that's what we're going to do. All right. Yay! It's one of my favorite things in the world <laughs> is to make crepes. Yes. All right, we've got our chilled uh, crepe batter. Batter. Yep, yep. And I'm just going <laughs> to... I can't think today, or talk, well, or do anything. Yes, you can. You can you're going to make uh, help me make crepes beautiful. Yes. Hold on. Let me get it all out. So we're just going to strain this. It helps just get any, you know, get maybe all the lumps, a little lumpy out. Because you want these smooth. Smooth. 
Smooth, right, smooth, let smooth. Let see. Okay. Here, leave me that. I'm going to put this in it. Yeah, and you probably want this spoon, too. All right, 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 Let's right, do right. do this just to help it along. Um, yes, look uh, at how silky that. It's bat. so, so good, and this filling is just amazing. Okay, I think that's good. Fabulous. Fabulous. Okay. Throw it all in there. Yeah. I got this here. Okay. And then you want this spoon. What do you want this spoon for? Just so you can use it. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> there we go. Now I can use it. Okay, well, that's good. <laughs> and here you go. You need some butter to put in there. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I always forget about the butter. I know. The butter. Who forgets it makes about it the butter? Really luxurious. So this is two tablespoons of melted unsalted butter. Oh, <laughs> that's why I needed it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, go ahead. And wow, clean it. I'm he having really a likes a clean spoon. I'm having some moments going okay, on. Okay, so right. I've got a. Um, this is my. You want to get a good nonstick uh, skillet. If you've got a crepe maker, then you're way ahead of me and us. Uh, so <laughs> go ahead and use that. But I'm telling you, this skillet, this size, this is a nine incher, um, and I'm just gonna. Just to help things along, you don't need to do this, but I put a little bit of canola oil in there, and then I get a paper towel. Just, you want to make that nice and slick. Um, so now what we're going to do, I've got this over medium heat, and uh, let's see, I'm always nervous. It's like the first, I know. the first slice. You're making me nervous. Well, don't be nervous. Okay. <laughs> now I'm just going to, oops, good heavens. Um, so now we're going to just put this in here. I'm just going to sabotage um, you. <laughs> I know. What the world? Um, there okay. you go. That's great, and then Chris. just kind of <gasps> get this that looks along. great. So it fills the edges. I do this like when you're making an omelet, and um, that and looks then wonderful. It I'm starts... gonna put this over here. Okay, and then it just starts to set. Yes. And uh, you'll know once it is. You can use your little spat. Get get your. I get a couple little spatulas just to know. And you see, it's already starting to set <gasps> like that. Don't Chris. try to flip it too soon. That looks um, great. I know. I know. I love it. Crepes are like. Crepes to me are like making pasta or bread. It's just something, these simple ingredients to come together to make the it beautiful It is. Thing. Okay, Look now are you, are you gonna make the filling? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Well, that's, yeah. but I'm so excited to see that flip. I know, I know. I but know. I, I'll wait, I'll wait. I know, no, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll give you a pre right. warning. So now we've got to make the most important part of the manicotti, and that is the cheese filling. That has this cup of ricotta, you gotta say it like that. Now, when you're going to, I'm gonna say this is. These are simple ingredients. If you can, go for that. Get your favorite brand of ricotta and make sure you do whole. Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna flip this and wish me luck. Okay. If, well, there you go. Hey, there probably, you go. First one's always a tester. No, but they're sturdy. Oh, they're sturdy. yeah. There you go. They're, they're sturdy. They, they. I mean, that's the great thing I love about these is that I probably flipped it a little early, but they, they, that's they okay. really do. Uh, they're very... They're durable. They're durable. Okay, I've got ricotta. Now I've got a cup of fresh mozzarella that we chopped up. We just roughly chopped and it. And then I've got a half a cup of smoked mozzarella. You don't have to use smoked mozzarella, you, but it oh, do a it. depth of flavor that's just... Do heavenly. it, do it, do it. And then we have three tablespoons of pecorino romano. Yeah, you could use just parmesan if you want. Yes, too. and then I've got some, here, I'm just gonna actually Yeah, yeah do that, that all nice Here is a teaspoon, or a half a teaspoon, I should say, of salt. You should say. And then <laughs> a healthy pinch of pepper. Ooh, I get a good pinch there. I got a good yeah. pinch. There you go, Chris, that is looking good. That's looking good. And I'm just gonna mix this together, get it good and mixed up before I throw in my herbs. So this one, coming back to my crepes, um, it, it'll take you a little bit of practice if you had not done these before to make sure you get the pan just right. I always recommend starting with a low heat because you don't want to overcook them too quickly. Um, but then, you know, you can, once you get the hang of it, you can start to crank your heat up a little bit. And uh, you just want them to go until they start to get kind of just nice and brown. That looks they're great. Kinda, they remind me kind of like of making tortillas. Uh, totally, totally. All right, so I'll, I've got my herbs now. I'm going to throw in a uh, two tablespoons tablespoons of fresh basil Yum. and then I then we get that all in there. I love that Delish. fresh basil. And that's <laughs> your fresh basil that started growing again. We so thought yeah, it was done. It's fall time here in Texas, <laughs> and I had a like, basil that was this tall yeah. earlier in the year. And then I grew it in a, like a plant box just for the fun of it. And then I, <laughs> it was done. We had a crazy hot uh, summer. Anyway, and then, yeah. so then it's just, it has a life of its own. Yeah. It's growing back. I love it. That was parsley. That was a tablespoon of parsley. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm going to mix this together, and then I'm going to throw in that egg to give it some binding. Mm-hmm. Okay. Perfect. Here we go. Yum. 
How's it going? It's good. It's All good. All right. So I'm gonna. I'm, what I'm gonna do is we've got. We're gonna make. What did we say? We're gonna make six eight of these. Eight. Thing. Okay. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put this plate right here. I'm gonna improvise. Here, you want me to hold? No, it's okay. okay. I think I can handle it. Oh well, watch. Here, say that. Yeah, let well, me hold it. <laughs> we'll have a broken crepe, and I don't like I that. Could look at me. I'm multitasking. You're multitasking. <laughs> it's amazing. Don't say you can't do anything. I know. Okay. So now I'm just gonna take this out of here and just plop it right there. Beautiful. Fabulous. And um, we're going to continue on. Thank you. All right. <laughs> I would put that in the fridge while we finish these off. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's time to roll some crates. Roll some crates. <laughs> I love crates. Look at these crates. beauties. Have I mentioned lately that I love crepes? What am I supposed to do with this? Oh, just give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> um, look at that. We've got beautiful. eight of them here, y'all. You and we put make, them in the fridge just to get them nice and cool. Yeah, yeah. this will make, uh, you can easily go up to 10 crepes uh, for this. And the beautiful thing about this is that you can make these crepes a day in advance. Just keep them like this in the fridge. You want to make sure you, you've cooled them before you start putting this beautiful filling on them. Yes. All right, let's watch the loon do So this. I'm going to do about three of these tablespoons. Oh, there we go. Is that good, Chris? Yeah. Maybe a little more. And you want to get I want to make sure it squirts out the end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's a very culinary technical term. Here, let's go. So we, and I want to have enough for eight of them in that's here. That's right. That should do you. Uh, should be, you should be able to use three tablespoons. Now, and my hands are clean. Yes, so, they are. Okay. So now we've got over here some beautiful, this is uh, my homemade marinara sauce. I made this a while ago and froze it and uh, thought, you know, like, Let's uh, thaw this out. This marinara, y'all. <laughs> it's one of those that, like, the entire day you smell this marinara going. It's so. It's really good. Amazing. It doesn't even take an entire day. It just it make your house smell yes. like it for like a couple days. All right, I'm rolling. So you are rolling. We go, so guys. we're doing about a a cup. Of, how's it going? It's good. I think I might need to add a little more. Yeah. Or squish it. Do a little squish. Action. Do a little squish job. Yeah. Okay. All right. Do a little extra here just because I feel like it. All right. this, is, I, this marinara, we've got the recipe on the blog and I've got a link to it I'm in the description. It's loaded with garlic and just so delicious. There we go. I'm gonna Yay! Right Beautiful. And you can help me if you want. I will. I'll be glad to. <laughs> Get your own spoon though. I will. Look at those. Those I are love gorgeous. That we borrowed from the French to make this classic <laughs> Italian dish. Um, hey, they're right next door to each other. They are. And they're good friends. So now, you know, because we got to make this even more luxurious. I love I'm it. I'm going to put a little bit of softened butter. Just a little bit. It just it keeps the crepes really moist and unbelievably decadently oh. delicious. It's just amazing. Y'all, I, I can't tell you. It's the... <sighs> <laughs> Something about the crepe and the cheese is is a like, match made in heaven. Yeah, it is just heavenly. It Look really at how quickly you did that. Well, I'm you know it's not my first time at the butter rodeo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay, so that's all there is. Then we'll finish it off with some um, more marinara when we're ready to serve it. But this only goes in the oven. I, we preheated the oven for three, at 375 Fahrenheit. It goes in for about 12 minutes until it's nice and hot and bubbly. And then we eat. Yay. <laughs> it's manicotti time. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh, always oh. manicotti time. Oh, oh no. those got a little brown. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, so what I did, I like to get them kind of crispy. They got a little crisp on the edges, but that's okay. That's okay. I turned, so I let them go for about 12 minutes. And then I turned, I just left them in that medium um, slot, and then I put the broiler on high. And, and just to kind of like, I love to let them brown Yay. up a little bit. Be careful when you do that. Like you got that, got a little brown, but that's okay. Yeah. They're delicious. All right, I'm going to just, for the fun of it, sprinkle a little more of this Parmesan Ooh all over the ee. top. Yes, on the nice hot. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait for it to go. <laughs> I know. It's going to be nice. <laughs> to burn the roof of my mouth. It's going to be nice and piping hot. Okay, now this is the fun part. <laughs> yes. Oh, those they're, are they're so really, lovely. I'm going to do them like, I know you want me to do them linked. That's all right. Do whatever you want to do. Okay. You know I will. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Here, Chris. Thank you. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, 
Oh, there goes my cheese. There no, you go. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. I want my little extra cheese. Here you go. <laughs> no, it's okay. Okay. Here. Here, you can have this one if you, here, you take this one. It's always the no, first this is totally removal. Fine. It's always that first That's removal. Totally fine. Okay, good. Yeah. Now we're gonna give you a little I'm just more. Being hard on you. Well, I know <laughs> you're just being Wesley. I know. Okay, now I'm gonna give you a little more. Yes, on please. Top. Okay. Oh well, yeah. It's like we're out of like a fancy, amazing. <laughs> I love it, y'all. This I would like to tell you oh. is a spectacular. It's great when you're having like a wonderful Italian um, dinner party. Serve this as your like sort of like your first thing that you're going to serve people, and people will go crazy. It's not real, real heavy. It's just super delicious. I'm going to move this back here so I can have plenty of room to eat. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting for you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Well, it needs to cool off right here. Anyway. Maybe just a little. Go ahead. Oh yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. Of... Oh, and you put some parsley in yours. Yes, I a did. A little, little more cheese. Yeah, yes. yes. And then... all right, let's just stand here for ten minutes and enjoy no. these. <laughs> Y'all, all right. I'm just gonna break into this. Wow, that is so beautiful. Here we go. I'm gonna break into the. Oh yeah, it is. That is. Oh, oh look at that, <laughs> y'all. <laughs> this is gonna be. This is gonna be dangerous. Well, then you want to wait Wait a second? No, little, no, second. no. Just blow on it. I know. I got to get a little bit marinara on there. I can. I just feel that these, I can already tell they're just like puffs of like clouds. Are you ready? Blow on it. I got to blow on this. You going in? Yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. That's one that of the best. That wasn't too hot. No, I know. You make such a big deal of it. Wow. That's one of the best things we've made in a while. <gasps> that filling. And those crepes. I know, but that filling. Yeah, that filling. Oh. The, the fill we went with good quality ricotta, oh. the smoked mozzarella, mm. the fresh herbs. You smell that? You taste mm. that? You smell that smoked mozzarella? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to get on with this because I'm going to eat all. This. That is 10,000% Luna approved. Yes, oh, this is really special. It you special. <laughs> he's specially spitting it. Make this. It's fun to make. You can, like I said, you can unbelievable make the grapes in advance. You can make the filling in advance. You can absolutely make the oh. marinara. And then you just assemble it and, and stick it in the you, oven. It's it's. You guys, we've been working all day, so this is like the perfect thing to end the day with. Oh. We do it for you because we love you yeah. so much. All right, bye everybody. Bye. Manja, manja. Man, is that good? <laughs>